Yeah, so the bidirectional LSTM RN encode is pretty straightforward. So just as a refresher again, here's you know my simple RNN hidden state update. It's you know just you know forward and backwards, just applying it. And then you paste everything together. And so if you were to try this, the key modification that you would have to make relative to the code that we've now seen countless times, and I promise this is the last time I'm going to show it to you, is you add this keyword to the LSTM layer uh, you know, generator. Right. So bidirectional equals true. And then you just invoke the model and you run it. Right. So it's very easy to do stupid things here. And then if you run it, yeah, it's pretty useless. Okay, so this is just as a warning that just because the model runs doesn't mean it's actually right. <laughs>